Hello and welcome to Let's Food and Barbecue. Today we're going to make a Swedish traditional meal. It's cod with mashed potatoes and an egg sauce with some shrimp in it. The shrimp is actually not that traditional, but uh, anyway, I like it. So uh, let me show you what we've got to work with. There we are. We've got cod, of course. I'm going to boil that. Um, I've got some potatoes. I'm going to cut them up to pieces and then boil them until they're tender. Um, for the mash, we're gonna make a white sauce or a bechamel sauce with um, some sharp cheese, a little bit of half and half cream, flour, some butter. We're gonna spice the fish with black pepper and salt. We're gonna spice the sauce with nutmeg. And then just before we're gonna serve it, we're gonna add some shrimp and some sliced eggs to the sauce. Um, and I also think that a couple of Brussels sprouts is gonna go well with this on the side. So let me bring you over to the stove and I'll show you how to continue. Okay, so I've got the potatoes on um, soon to be a boil. Uh, I salted them with a little bit of uh, herbal salt. I've got the fish on the medium temp just to cook them slowly. We're not really in a rush here. And I've got the sprouts on as well. So we're gonna start making the sauce. Uh, and first of all, we need to melt the butter. Okay, so the butter is almost melted. I've got uh, three quarters of a stick of butter and um, that might be a little bit too much actually, but it doesn't matter. It's just gonna make it taste better. Um, three tablespoons of flour. I'm gonna start whisking that in there. Then we have the cream. And like any milk-based sauce, you need to whisk all the time. Some nutmeg. And some pepper. This actually calls for white pepper, but I don't really fancy that, so we're using black pepper. Okay, so we're gonna bring this to a boil. Let's see if it thickens. If it thickens too much, we could just add a little bit milk if it's not thick enough we can always add a little bit more flour you know you need to boil a milk uh, a flour based sauce a couple of minutes just to get rid of the flour taste this actually uh, it's actually quite good uh, I'm gonna go with that give it a minute then Gonna add one cup of cheese and just let this melt. Continue stirring. Once you have that completely dissolved, You need to move it to the side because it will burn unless you, even if I, you know, like me, have an induction stove top, it will be a little bit warm. And I don't really want this to burn. You don't want any black pieces in the sauce, do you? And there we are, bubbles. Okay, I'll bring this to the side. I'll meet you back soon. Okay, so this is almost done. I cook the fish until it's um, starting to fall apart. You could just put it like that and see it falls apart and it this is cod so it needs to be white it's hard to see i guess it's a little bit translucent in that one it's going to be okay it's going to be 25 minutes at 200 celsius 390 fahrenheit in the oven anyway you need to start uh, making the mash of course we need some butter and some milk for that as well at least that's the way i want to do it i've got a potato stomper so, just start working it. Add a little bit of milk. We need to get this to uh, mash and don't want it too loose, but if it turns a little bit too loose, that's not gonna be the end of the work. And there we go. Step one, of course we need a spoon for this. Okay. Um, so we're going to make little lumps of potato. 
all the way around. And there we go. Um, and I did cut these eggs uh, into slices. I have a egg slices somewhere, but I just cut them into pretty thick slices. And then we're gonna put them on top over here. And then some shrimp. Just gonna spritz that all over the place. And there we go, just the sauce then. So I'm gonna start in the middle and try to distribute this. Something like that. Let's see if you can see that. Focus button. Okay, so we got some fish, we got some eggs, we got some shrimp, potatoes on the sides, and a cheesy sauce on top. 25 minutes at uh, 200 Celsius, 390 Fahrenheit. See you now. 25 minutes in the oven and we're done. So, I'm just gonna take a piece here. And there we go. Cod with mash and cheese bechamel with some um, Brussels sprouts. Okay, I'll bring you in for taste test. So this is a traditional meal and um, I've made it a gazillion times probably. And my kids loved it growing up. One of the few fish things they liked. So here we go. It's a pretty mild dish. Uh, the salt and pepper is the only thing bringing the taste of the cod out. The cheese is um, really nice with the other flavors that are in there. And of course, can't beat the Brussels sprout, can you? Mm -hmm. Everyday meal, takes about an hour from start to end and uh, something I highly recommend. So please have it. Thank you for watching. Bye.